Hi and welcome back to this free cyber panel tutorial for beginners. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to deploy our server and I will start by deploying one server which is for the Windows tutorial because I want to do, I first of all want to do a tutorial for the Windows guys and if you're following along with me on a Windows computer you're going to see how you can log in using party, set up SSH and then after that, after that I'm going to do the Linux tutorial for the Linux guys and the Mac guys using terminal. But first I'm going to start with Windows. So in this video, let's deploy our server. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and use the affiliate link in the description below. You will get $100 credit. I hope the offer is still available. So just check out and see if it is still available. I will log into my account. So I'll just click there to deploy an instance. We need to choose a server type. You can choose cloud compute or high frequency, but I suggest that you start with cloud compute because first of all, I would advise you to just follow along with me, set up the server just as a sample, install cyber panel, run an actual website, change the DNS settings just to test cyber panel to see how it works. And once you get a hang of it and you followed with me throughout, you can delete the server that we're creating now and then you can start a fresh server that you can actually use on your production okay so first of all just follow along with me so what's the difference between cloud compute and high frequency cloud compute is just the same as this but this has a higher power than this but it's just slightly higher power but you can still use this most people actually use this and the performance is still great but if on a production if you want better performance you can try this one so i'm going to choose cloud compute you can choose a region, Seattle, or let me choose, where is Chicago? I can choose Chicago. So if you want to know how to choose your location, so let's just take this small detour to see how you can choose a location for yourself. So if you come here under features, data center locations, you can test different locations just to see which location will give you the fastest speeds. So it's important for you to know whether you want to base the speed off of where you are or off of where your visitors are. So if you're in the same place as your visitors, you can just test different regions to see which region has better performance for you. So if I come here, I can test Miami just to see the speeds that I will get best off of, best off of where I am. So you can also test best of off of where your visitors are. So where your visitors are, if you're not in the same location, you can just use a VPN. So if you're not in the same location as your intended website visitors, you can use a VPN to emulate their location and then come here and test. So let's say I want to test Miami. You can test different locations here. So let's say I want to test Miami. I can just click on that IP address and then just run the test with the default setting here. And you can see that this is the amount of time it takes for everything to happen for me, 94 milliseconds. So if you want to test a different region, let me just refresh the page. Maybe I want to test Atlanta. So I will select this. I will click there to select that IP and then I will run the test. So you can see this one is much higher. So it's not a good location for me. And let me try to reload again. And this time around, let me test. Let me test Seattle. And then I will click the link. I will click this IP address and then run the test again. And you can see that this is giving me a much better result than all the others. So this is a better location for me. Okay, so just do something similar to find the best location for you. The lower the time, the better for you. Okay, so you've seen how you can how you can select a region. So for me, I'm just going to test Chicago because it's for demonstration purposes. And then throughout this tutorial, of course, we want to use CentOS 8 to install Cyber Panel. So you can also use Cyber. You can also use CentOS 7, which is more stable with most applications right now. It's more stable with more applications than, than CentOS 8. Most applications currently, currently support CentOS 7. So we're going to choose CentOS 8. And server size, let's choose 
five dollar monthly and let's just check all these features we want that and we want that as well you can also enable automatic backups if that's something you want we don't have any startup scripts to be run with our server and we don't have ssh keys we're going to set up ssh keys later on and then server hostname and label give this server a name that is give it a name of a domain name give it a qualified a fully qualified domain name and this will enable you to send mail if you don't use a fully qualified domain name here you're going to have a problem sending mail so this is just a sample so i will use a sample of this with bizanosa.com but this is not our final server i'll actually delete this and uh, create another one once i'm done with this windows part so there you go five dollar just confirm that everything is as you selected and then we're going to deploy the server so the server is currently being installed being set up for us if we click on it you can see the ip address that we've been given the password so just give it some time there you go we've been given an ip we've been given a password user root you're going to disable root user at some point and we're also going to disable password login at some point which is a good security feature that you need to have on your server so in this video you've seen how you can set up how you can deploy your server and if you're on windows the next video is for you i will show you how you can log into your server using party we're going to download party install party and see how you can log into your server i will see you in the next video